As we remember the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ, let us indulge ourselves to His seven last words. So let us pray. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, as we remember your seven last words here on earth, let us focus, Lord, on you. Open our hearts and our minds to your words, Lord. And let us learn more about you. It's in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and Amen. So let me read Luke chapter 23, verse 34. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Ito po yung una sa pitong last words ni Jesus Christ. So bakit po importanteng pag-aralan tong seven last words? So again, Jesus is in a dying moment at this time. And we know na the last words of a dying person is full of wisdom. Bakit po kaya full of wisdom? Since during your last moments, during your last few breaths, nagkakaroon daw po tayo ng realization or dito yung uh, napagkasama-sama natin lahat nung natutunan natin dito sa mundo. So, isa-isahin po natin ito sa oras na ito. So, yung nasa po sa akin is yung first word. So, let us go back. Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Sabi po, at this time, kahit na nahihirapan na siya, kahit na uh, sumasakit na yung katawan niya, He prayed for us. Jesus Christ prayed for us. Normally po, kung tayo po yung nasasaktan, or may pinagdadaanan, or we are under trial, we normally pray for us, ourselves. Para sa sarili lang natin. Or the direction or content of our prayer is mostly for us. Pero dito, kahit nahihirapan na siya, kahit nasaktan na siya, Jesus Christ still thinks about us. So, sabi nga dito, He even prayed kahit nung itong time na to na nahihirapan na siya. So, what is His prayer? So, Jesus Christ seeks for the forgiveness of our sins. Our sins um, disconnect us from God and the death of Jesus Christ paved the way for us to be reconnected again to God. And isa-isahin po natin yung word dun sa verse na to. So first po, Father. Normally, when we call to our Father, we have uh, trust or confidence dun sa Father natin. So, dito po makapansin nyo, yun yung una niyang binanggit. So, ibig sabihin, Jesus Christ has the confidence and trust to His Father that He will grant or that His Father will act immediately. ba? Kasi sa atin po mga tao, when we call on to our Father, ibig sabihin, gusto natin ng immediate action or immediate result. It's the same with Jesus Christ, lalo na sa mga oras nito. Since um, He called to His Father, it is His form of His trust. He is confident that the Father in Heaven will listen to Him. So second, forgive them. Forgive them. Forgiveness. Sabi ko pa, di ba? He prayed for the forgiveness of our sins. So, ano po kaya ang ibig sabihin ng forgiveness? So, sabi po yung sa forgiveness, when we when our sins have been forgiven, ibig sabihin po nun, we will no longer carry the guilt and the shame of our sins. And sabi rin po, yung sins is like a debt or pagkakautang natin. Since pinatawad na tayo or namatay na sa atin si na matay na para sa atin si Jesus Christ, our sins have been forgiven. Even dito, pinag niya, Lord, forgive them. And He, he even justified for us na hindi natin alam yung ginagawa natin, di ba? Sabi nga dito, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. So what is forgiveness nga? So yun nga po, we will no longer carry the guilt and the shame of our sins. Kasi minsan, kahit may natay ng tawad, 
napatawad na tayo. Minsan bumabalik pa rin sa atin yung mga nagawa natin. Minsan naalala natin yung guilt feeling or nahihiya pa rin tayo sa mga nagawa natin kasalanan. So, in this forgiveness, kapag pinatawad na po tayo, we should also forgive ourselves for us to be able to move on from that sins. Kasi kahit na pinagasalan tayo ni Jesus Christ, even He even died for us, for you and me. Pero hindi natin napatawad yung sarili natin, hindi tayo nag-move on. The guilt is still there. So, we should receive and accept the forgiveness that is given to us. So them, forgive them, sabi dito. Them, everyone who sinned. Them pertains to all of us or everyone who sinned. Sin. Sabi nga po sa Romans chapter 3, verse 23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So kung sinasabi po natin na wala tayong kasalanan, nagsisinungaling po tayo. Nawawala po yung greatness ni Lord kapag sinabi natin na hindi tayo nagkasala. Lahat po tayo ay nagkasala at kailangan po natin i-confess yung mga pagkakasala natin. And one thing that I would like to share to you, hindi aksidente na nasa first word yung forgiveness. Kasi yung forgiveness or yung Confession of our sin is a sign of humbleness and the forgiveness or the confession of our sins um, connected us again to the Lord. And lastly, they do not know what they are doing. Again po, our sins separated us from God. Alalaanin po natin yun nasa Genesis nung Pinaalis po sa Garden of Eden si Adam and Eve. Dahil po dun sa pagkakasala nila, we have been vanished dun sa garden na yon. And if it's not done, mabubuhay po tayo ng disconnected kay God. And we are lost because of sins. Bakit po kaya lost? Minsan gina natin alam kung tama ba or mali pa yung ginagawa natin. Minsan, kala natin tama pa, mali na pala. Even gina-justify natin yung sarili natin. Pero bakit po kaya or paano po natin malalaman kung tama or mali na yung ginagawa natin or kung nasa tamang landas na ba tayo? It's a simple question and there's a simple answer. Read your Bible and be connected to God by reading His Word for us. And again, it's not an excuse that we don't know what we are doing. It's like sa batas natin. Diba? Ignorance of the law is not an excuse. And it's the same with our Lord. In time na to, he, Jesus Christ asked for the forgiveness ng mga taong nagkasala sa Kanya. Pero it does, doesn't mean that they are not accountable for what they have done. Ibig sabihin, kung dati, hindi mo alam yung ginagawa mo na nagkakamali ka na, na mali na pala yung tinatahak mong daan, tapos nakakilala ka kay Jesus, tapos nalaman mo na uh, mali pala yung dati kong ginagawa. Ask for the forgiveness. Ask for His grace and um, confess your sins. He is, he is faithful and just to forgive you. So again, the challenge for us here is to pray for other people like Jesus Christ did. Even nahihirapan ka na, even may pinagdadaanan ka na, even you're under uh, heavy circumstances. Lahat po tayo may kabigatan ng loob. But let us not be self selfish. Let us have a selfless prayer like Jesus Christ. So, let us pray. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, as we study your first word, let us learn, Lord, to love others as you have shown us, Lord God. Let us pray for them, Lord. Let us share them your word and your love. It's in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and Amen.